Hi everyone, welcome to Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, immobilizer system. Uh, so we will remove all the components from the car to see what are the function of each one and we will see how immobilizer system works. And I will also show you guys how uh, to program the keys and how to neutralize control modules using the scan tool step by step. So this is the antenna coil which is located around the key cylinder. Uh, so basically, any time that you grab your key and put it inside the key cylinder, when you turn it on, uh, this antenna coil will create magnetic field to read the transponder chip inside, inside the key. And it's going to send the information to immobilizer control module that I'm going to uh, show you very soon. So for uh, testing the antenna coil, you have to remove it. There is one screw down here. You can remove it and connector is just uh, back there. I have already removed the screw, so I can remove this one and uh, we will see how we can uh, test it. And under the dash right here, we have the immobilizer control module. So this immobilizer control module can be located just next to the antenna coil or somewhere under the dash. So I'm gonna remove this one. All right, and here we got the immobilizer control module. All right, uh, so as I explained earlier, uh, this is my key, this is the antenna coil, this is uh, immobilizer control module, and obviously we have engine control module or ECM as well. So anytime you grab the key, you put it inside the key cylinder uh, and turn it on, you are actually activating the antenna coil, which is simply uh, just a coil inside, okay? Two wires are connected to a coil inside the antenna coil, which is going to create a magnetic field to read the transponder chip. And it will send the information to immobilizer control module. So this control unit can be uh, different in terms, uh, in terms of function. Sometimes on some cars, the immobilizer control module is basically just uh, an interface. It means it's gonna read the uh, transponder chip information through antenna coil, and it will send it to uh, engine control module. And ECM is the one to decode uh, the transponder chip information, and ECM is the one to control the immobilizer warning light. But on some other cars, uh, this unit is for reading the information of the transponder chip and it just sends the information to the ECM to activate the fuel system because if obviously you don't have a valid key or any of these components inside the immobilizer is not functioning properly, uh, you won't be able to uh, start the engine. All right, let's see what we have inside the key. I'm gonna show you the transponder chip. Okay, right now you will see the transponder chip. So this is basically what I'm talking about right now. This is the transponder chip, all right, which is located right here. I need to remove this cover to reach to the transponder chip. Do it gently, just make sure you are not breaking the cover because this is the cover which is holding the uh, chip inside. Okay, so this is the chip itself. Okay, so this is our chip. And as you see, uh, I hope you guys can see the number. Yes. So this is the number of transponder chip re just written on it. So anytime you wanna order a brand new one, you can just grab this number. But if you replace the transponder chip with the brand new one, you have to perform programming the keys, all right? So if you lose this one, you won't be able to start the engine. Uh, if you have replaced this one with the brand new one, you have to perform uh, programming the keys, all right? So this is really important. If you don't have this chip over there, you won't be able to uh, start the engine. So for checking the antenna coil, as I told you, there is just one coil inside. 
the only thing you need to do is for checking the resistance between these two pins so i have the multimeter here on the resistance and check the resistance between these two pins all right As you see, I'm reading the value. So if the resistance is not okay, uh, basically the, this antenna coil is uh, damaged. So basically if immobilizer system is not working properly or any of these components is faulty, uh, you won't be able to start the engine uh, because uh, obviously engine control module will not activate uh, the fuel system because it's not getting any positive signal or any confirmation from immobilizer system. So in case of any failure on immobilizer system, the most quick one is to check the second key, all right? To check the second key, because normally you have more than one key uh, for your car. If you check the second key and the second key works, it means all these components, uh, antenna coil, immobilizer control module and ECM, they are okay. And most likely the problem could be from your key and inside the key, the problem could be from the transponder chip that you can basically order a new one by using this number and reprogram it with the scan tool so i've seen some videos on the youtube uh giving you this idea to bypass the immobilizer system so generally what they do uh, they uh, if you have for example two keys uh one key one key is okay and the second key is not working they suggest to remove the chip from the good one and tape it around the antenna coil and in this case both of your keys will work because uh the immobilizer system is reading the correct chip all the time and you don't need to reprogram the second key so i wouldn't suggest this one at all because if you grab the proper learned uh, transponder chip and tape it around the antenna coil it means you your immobilizer system is inactive all the times so you might be happy because you didn't pay the money to reprogram uh, a new chip on your second key but you need to keep it in your mind because the transponder chip is here your immobilizer system is inactive all the times all right, so it means basically you don't have any immobilizer system anymore. You don't have any anti-theft system anymore. So anyone else, by cutting a key exactly like this, uh, they would be able to uh, start and steal your car, all right? So this is not what I suggest. Bypassing the immobilizer system, from my point of view, is not a good option, all right? The best thing is to uh, buy a new transponder chip and get it reprogrammed with the proper scan tool and that's the proper way to keep your car secure and to keep the immobilizer working uh, properly. So now I'm gonna take the camera on the car and I'm gonna show you how to use the scan tool to reprogram uh, a new chip. All right, uh, I'm inside the car. I have the key here, uh, but for simulating the problem, as you see, I have removed the uh, transponder chip. So there is no transponder chip right now inside my key. I'm gonna just put it right up here and then I try to start the engine and see what's gonna happen. So as you see, I'm trying to start the engine. Engine doesn't start because my transponder chip is just right here. And if I grab the transponder chip, I just keep it close to the antenna coil. As you see, I started the engine. So this is really important to have uh, the transponder located close to this one and obviously learned. So right now let's hook up the scan tool and see how uh, we can perform the diagnostics on immobilizer system. All right, I have already connected my scan tool. Today I'm using uh, this launch scan tool X431 uh, Pro 3. I go for diagnose. Asian, let's go for Hyundai, this car is, uh, this car is a Hyundai. I go for manual select because I know uh, I'm looking for uh, what system and what car.
I go for immobilizer system. All right, so I have read data stream. So as you see, uh, ECU status is learned and I have two keys uh, learned for uh, this car. So if I go back to special functions, most of the items are here. So let's focus on these two first and then I will explain uh, the other ones. So neutral mode is normally for uh, neutralizing some components like engine control module. Just in case, if you need to uh, use any part from this car on any other car, you need to neutralize it here and reprogram the key over there. For example, if you wanna use engine control module from this car on the other car, you need to neutralize it here and perform the key programming over there. And how it's gonna be? Uh, you just need the six digit pin code that you use for teaching the keys. But what about for teaching the keys? That one is super easy. Click on teaching the keys. Again, in, uh, insert six digit pin code, press OK, and that's gonna be it. All right, but what about for these two? Uh, uh, you have these options on uh, this car on most of the Hyundai and Kia vehicles with immobilizer system. It means with a mechanical key, not with a push button. Uh, you will have these two as well. So password teaching and changing is basically for uh, inserting a four digit code that you can use in case of emergency. So it means in case of emergency, if antenna coil is faulty or that transponder chip is uh, broken, is not working properly as well. If you have this uh, four digit pin code, you can use it to disable the immobilizer system for 30 seconds and you're going to need to use half the password and you're going to need to use uh, uh, the scan tool to disable the uh, immobilizer system uh, so you uh, if you have the password in case of emergency you just need to click on the limb home mode and by clicking on the limb home mode the only thing you need is only inserting the four digit password that you already saved in here by doing that you uh, you can disable the immobilizer system uh, for 30 seconds and because uh, the immobilizer system only works when you start the engine right after that when engine is started the immobilizer system is not gonna look for the key uh, anymore so by doing that you can just uh, move the car to uh, the nearest workshop and normally this is what uh, the Kia and Hyundai dealership uh, they do that if uh, there is any car outside the dealership with immobilizer uh, fault uh, they're gonna grab the scan tool uh, to disable the immobilizer system by doing this to take the car to uh, the dealership and they uh, they can fix the car later on there could be some differences on different cars for reprogramming the keys but most of the time you can do it with a scan tool and all the instructions are mentioned inside the scan tool but the most important one was to understand what are the components of the immobilizer system what will happen if any of them is faulty uh, and to understand the importance of transponder chip and uh, as i said earlier uh, i don't really suggest you guys to bypass the immobilizer system because by doing that you are actually disabling the whole immobilizer system and anyone who cut the keys just like this can start your car and steal your car Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you uh, find it uh, helpful.